Anyways, let's get the pants done as well. And for the shoes, we're going to make this, this, and this. There we go. Look at that. We look like a samurai. I love it. Okay, let's quickly eat. There we go. And keep shooting at it. Ah, no. Hey guys, and welcome back to more Minecraft Eternal. Today we're going to have a look at Tinker's Armor. Now, because I'm new to Tinker's Armor, we had a good chat and looked at a couple of materials after the stream last time when we had the dragon. Because you guys were saying using dragon scales should be really, really good on armor. And that's correct. So we are going to use a mixture of dragon scale for plate. We're going to use uh, dark steel for core. And we're going to be using solarium for trim now solarium has a very high durability rating on the trim and dragon plate in general is just something we want to try out it has actually a very nice modifier where you repair your armor while on fire so the dark steel core originally we're going to go with iron because we have plenty of iron and whatever you make the core out of is what you use for the polishing kits to repair it and then you guys left a comment in the last video saying dark steel should probably be something i can make so yes that's true. I just checked it out. We can make actually quite a lot of dark steel and we should be able to make plenty of it to have plenty of polishing kits. So we're going to use dark steel for cores, um, solarium for the trim and dragon scales for the plate. All right, we're down here at bedrock level because one of the ingredients we need is grains of infinity. Grains of infinity, well, we can make essences, of course. Uh, with grains of infinity, we would need initially four of them to make an essence so we can grow them in our garden. But I don't think we need as much, actually, in general. So what we do is we take a flint and we're going to set all the bedrock on fire around us. And we let it burn out. And once it's all burned out, it has a 50% chance when it burns out to pop a grains of infinity. So let's see. Oh. There was a good noise. When you hear that noise, it means something popped. Oh, another one and another one. Nice. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. So how many? I think it's six that we got. Let me see. Oh, it must have gone into our mining bag. Yeah, let's check that out. Excellent. Six. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to just spend a little bit more time here doing a few more just in case we need more. So here we are with 23 grains of infinity. Now they are used for quite a lot of things. And um, I think even other than Ender IO, but um, other mods might actually make use of them as well. But um, if we get more into Ender IO, we're probably going to end up doing the grains of infinity seeds from mystical aquaculture simply because it saves us running up and down up and down but simple machine cases uh, chassis is actually what we needed for so to make the alloy smelter also we collected the infinity oh that was actually a quest all right let's check it out there's actually other things that we have completed we completed the dragon quest of course which is going to give us experience in a jar a loot reward what do we get a hot potato okay and we got some coins as well so let's see what we have here advanced science grains of infinity oh look at this this actually is getting more into this mod as well i wonder if the alloy smelter is part of that because then we could simply follow this to oh dark steel ingots nice so dark steel ingots is actually part of it as well that is really really cool i think we're going to do this route at some point but not maybe today simply because um it would be too much um work and i'm probably going to want to do that online and not offline so and the episode is more about the armor right now lava stone wow okay so what else did we complete we have something else in the clipboard that's what i showed you in the beginning we get steak and chips for that nice we got some good food that is pretty awesome Okay, and did we get anything else? No, that's it. I think we have no quests other than that completed. Good, good. I like it. So at least we have some food, which we actually need, incidentally. There we go. Uh, whoops. So one of the other things that is going to come up soon, and it's either going to come up next episode or the one after that, is we're going to have to change our storage. It's just ridiculous. Now, storage drawers is something I'm going to use for the mob farm because that just works out really a lot better because when you filter out your items, you know, you, you can keep what you want to keep in drawers, which can be upgraded to store a huge amount of um, items. So it's a very nice system you can create with that, but it's something we're going to look at separately. But this is something we need to upgrade because we're running out of space. There's actually one more we can add. Let let me just actually do that quickly. I upgraded one of the storage crates to medium, which actually adds more pages. So this one here is one page. But if you look at um, this guy here, this one has two pages. 
of items. So it's a lot more storage. But instead of keep upgrading these and making them bigger and bigger, there is actually, um, I forgot what it's called, like a computer storage way of doing it where you just do hard drives and they can fit into other blocks. So you can store like a huge amount of um, items in a very small space. So we're probably going to do that for our main storage solution. But anyway, we need um, storage link cables or storage cables. So let me just quickly make them here. We need a few of those guys. Let's throw them in and let's make a few of those. We actually might as well make, there we go, these four. Okay, so let's take one of those storage cables and put them here and that will add this. There we go, excellent. So well, let's have a look how to do the alloy smelter. So we have actually all the ingredients pretty much because they're very straightforward. Stone gears are very easily made. So if you just want to check that I made the stone gears in advance, it's literally just stone and sticks. That's all it is. And this is how you make stone gears. So let's make the simple machine chassis, which is exactly what we need the grains of infinity for. There we go. Beautiful. And now we should be able to make that alloy smelter. Excellent. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's throw this out. So now, oh, alloys and enemies. Actually, that is completed now because we did complete the other quest before that. Was it introductionary to science? Advanced science. There we go. Starting a chassis. Oh, three chassis. The third S is silent. Oh, chassis. It's not chassis. You see, it even teaches me how to pronunciate things. Let's complete. Get some money. And we get a loot reward. What do we get? A lead reinforced bow. That might actually come in handy because we don't have a bow yet. And I was thinking about what type of bow we could make that would be really, really good for us. Because Tinkers also lets you make bows as well as arrows. Anyway, that's for another day. So let's focus on the task at hand, which is our alloy smelter. So let's put that one down right here. It should get powered. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Excellent. Beautiful. Love it. So now all we need to do is take pulverized coal and iron ingots well here we go might as well take a stack here and then if we look at the dark steel recipe here we go we can see that in the alloy smelter it takes pulverized coal and iron ingots and obsidian so let's get a stack of obsidian as well. There we go. So what we want to do is put the obsidian in, put the iron ingots in, and that won't start anything. And then we put the pulverized coal in. So basically, I think if you put iron ingots and pulverized coal in, it will just make steel. Yeah, there you go. Pulverized coal and iron ingots. So you have to be careful how you place it in because it will start smelting the moment you put these two in. But right now you can see here, it's burning through them very slowly. And at 100%, we should see one dark steel coming in. There we go. Boom. Dark steel ingot. Now the last ingredients we need after dark steel and dragon scales is solarium. And solarium is simply made from gold and soul sand in a smelter. So I made a second smelter so we don't have to interrupt the dark steel creation. So we have our dark steel bin here because it's very, very slow. And we're going to put the soul sand in here, which shouldn't do anything by itself. And then we put the gold in here and that should start burning away. Very good. And that is actually much faster as well. So let's see if my power is holding up here with my generator. Ooh, okay. So yeah, that one generator is not enough. So we might actually have to upgrade our power system somehow to make more power that's only a coal generator so we yeah we're probably going to, need to start looking at how to make more power and <laughs> that way we can make everything wireless like so in the moment i'm just trying to offset a little bit but that's fine so we have some power here and here's our solarium ingot so it seems to make the trim we only need one solarium ingot which is actually pretty cool because we have three already and i already went ahead and made a cast for every single thing so we have the trim cast here so let's pop the solarium in here okay let's speed that up a little bit and let's put the trim cast in here Speed it up a little bit. There we go. That should be much faster now. Beautiful. And now we should be able to make three trims. Now the trim gives us 105 durability, which is really, really good. 
So it should be only one ingot. Excellent, Petrem. There we go. Let's make another two. Luckily, it actually progresses really, really fast. So the cooldown is actually really quick, which is nice. Okay, there we go. Let's put um, the ingots back in. That's empty. Whoops, don't do that. That would be very terrible. There we go. And let's put that in there back again. Excellent. Okay, so now that we have uh, the trim, there we go. That's one part. Now we also need to make the plates. We need three plates. So if we're going to go in here and go to plates, we're going to make plates out of dragon scales. So we need one, two, three. There we go. Beautiful. Now, what else do we need? We need the cores. Now, for the cores, we need a helmet core. And I hope we can do it directly here. Oh, no, we have to cast it. Okay, so we're going to have to put in the dark steel into the smeltery as well for all the cores. Luckily, I made all the ca uh, the castings already. Or the, yeah, the casts already. And um, let's see how many ingots we need for each. All right, we need about 15 ingots of dark steel to do that. It takes several, actually, for the helmet, and it takes about five for the chest plate and so on. Anyway, our material costs six, there you go. And it takes five for the helmet and then another five for the legs. Now, for the shoes, I kind of like the slime bots, the slime boots, yeah? But obviously, the slime boots we have are nonsense. So while this is doing its thing... Oh, actually, this dried very good, so we can actually put the chest plate on. There we go and do that. Now... What we can do for slime is we can make the slime core. So if we look at the feet here, the shoes, the slime core will actually give it slimy and bouncy. Now, slimy, I don't know exactly what it does. It says it washes right off, so I'm not really sure what it actually does as a mechanical effect. But bouncy is basically going to add the effect of what we have right now to the slime boots. So we're going to need to make the core of the boots out of slime, but we need to make it out of green slime crystals. And the green slime crystals are made by burning green slimy mud in the smelter. And this is made from congealed slime block, sand and dirt. So let's see if we can make some slime mud. Let me see, we need some congealed blocks. We need some sand and we need some dirt. There we go. All right, I don't know exactly how much we need, so let's make... It says it takes four parts, but I don't know exactly if that means four of that in smelted form, in the um, smeltery or not. I have no idea. So let's go and put this one in here. Put this one in here. Very good. And this one in here and here. So there we go. And let's have a look and see how we get on with the pulverizer. Okay, I actually paused that. Let's see how we get on with that. Twelve more. Very good. And what do we have here? 19 more dark steel. Very good. So that keeps chucking away. We need some dark steel actually to make some polishing kits as well. So one of the <coughs> casts I think that I'm missing is the polishing kit. Let me just double check. No, I actually made a polishing kit already. Very good. And we can take that off now. Take the polishing kit, put that in here. And how many parts does it take? two parts okay so two ingots per cast so if we go in here let's make i don't know let's make five there we go and we're gonna make five polishing kits and that should be enough to start with there we go here's our legs beautiful and now our shoes now do we need to make the shoes by smelting or can we just apply it so let me see here we go here's our four parts of slime so let's quickly put that in here and have a look and see if we can make the boots, the core, out of slime. Oh, we can. Excellent. Slimy, bouncy. Beautiful. There we go. So we have slimy, bouncy. Now, slimy, bouncy, only very little durability, not as much. This is obviously much better. Defense is only 1.5. So here we go. Loads of good stats, except for the boots, of course, but they're better than the boots we're wearing right now. So I think we have everything now. So let's see if we can craft and put them all together. So in the Armory Forge now, if we want to make a helmet, we do the helmet core, the dragon scale plate, and the armor trim. So now we should get, oh, mundane. Bonus protection against unarmed attackers. Where's that coming from? Oh, that's from the dark helmet. Okay. Um, roof. Damage attacker on contact based on durability. That's very good. Out of Forge, the armor repairs itself in fire. And then we have... 
Horans or Horans cold. When Withered reduces HP of all mobs in a certain range by 30% every second. Now it doesn't kill them because it's only percentage based, but that is amazing. So we have three modifiers. In total, it's 2855 um, durability. Defense, toughness. Now, this is not the best armor, absolutely not, but it has some extra toughness. I don't know exactly how toughness works, so let me know in the comments below. I'm going to try to find some information on that as well online. But I know how armor works, but not really toughness. So let's make that helmet. There we go. Let's make the chest. Here we go. That's the chest piece. And it's 4,100 um, armor. The same defense and toughness. Modifier 3. And then um, rough damage. I don't know. What is rough damage? Damage attackers on contact base. Oh, so the more durability we lose the higher we are for damage. That's a bit like the one on the shuriken. That is really interesting. So maybe what we could do is get the durability down to one and then make it indestructible. That would be amazing if we could do that. So that would be really, really cool. Um, anyway, so let's see what the legs are. So the legs, of course, they are the same. Why is the level clumsy though? Of course, yeah, okay, we have to level it up, I suppose. Yeah, so the same thing versus unarmed 20% that is really good I don't know if it's melee damage we have to do but I'm assuming unarmed means anything like blazes or something that are shooting at us or things that are in general don't have bows or melee arranged or melee weapons yeah so if it's magic I suppose yeah and or mobs that just attack you with their hands like zombies I wonder if that applies to our shuriken and then we start doing like 20 30 damage that would be absolutely amazing anyway let's get the pants done as well and for the shoes we're going to make this, this, and this. There we go. Look at that. We look like a samurai. I love it. But here we, of course, get... St oh, still 3,300 durability, but only 1.5 defense, toughness, and then moderators. We get slimy. It'll wash off. I have no idea what that means. Bouncy, rough, out of forge, and horns, cold. So there we go. Now, if we do this... Now we have a full set of armor. So let's put on the shoes and see what difference does it make. Actually, let's just take the shoes off there's no difference in armor itself because they don't have any stats but if we put these on we get actually toughness look at this it's only 0 0.21 armor so there's no change really very little change you can't even see it on the bottom right here i'm looking at but you can see that toughness icon which i just do i don't understand this yet so let's take all the other armor off and let's put on the helmet let's put on the chest and let's put on the leggings. Look at that. That is amazing. We got really good armor. Now, of course, instead of making a dark steel core, what I would like to do is to make a supremium core, but that is a lot of work as in time consuming. I can do that off camera to make the bars that we need for it because you have to go literally through tons and tons of essences to make one bar into the next, into the next, into the next. So we might actually set up an auto crafter recipe for that instead, but we'll see. Anyway. This is looking good. Let's see. Look at that. We're ready for adventure. Nice. Oops. We're ready for adventure. This looks really, really good. We're looking like a samurai. Love it. And we still got our bounciness, which is really cool. I needed to survive because I'm very incapable of landing properly. <laughs> okay, we got a problem. We got a problem. Mayday, mayday. We got a problem. Ooh, quick, 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 quick. Let's get out of here. I went back to the tower to um, basically, uh, whoops, we have to go back out of here. This is dangerous. Um, I went back to the tower to see if I can get more resources to get a couple of more of those chests. And whoa, we have a problem. Big boy is in here. There we go, come on. He's one of the guardians of the tower. But I don't really want to kill him because that means we can't get to the other chests. You see how everything is blowing up? That's the problem. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So let's stay right here if we can. It seems nether, nether rack is actually, or well, nether brick is very, very good for that. So there we go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, let's quickly eat. There we go. And keep shooting at it. Ah, nope, 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 nope. Okay, we're, sh we're safe on the stairs as long as we're staying on the stairs. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, there we go. 
There we go. And keep shooting at him. Keep shooting at him. Come on. He's, he has to be nearly dead. He has to be nearly dead. There we go. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay, now we have a problem because I think the whole tower will explode. There we go. We picked everything up. So let's go through here. Okay, the tower is not exploding. Okay, because the white tower exploded. Okay. Cool, I take that. Oh, brewing stunt. Nice. Okay, so can we destroy these guys? So we don't get any respawns. Oh, balls. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Quick, quick, quick. Whew, okay. Excellent. I think we made it. That's what I get for trying to do some off-camera grinding. But it didn't explode. That is really good. So does that mean we're at the bottom of everything? Huh. Okay, so let's put a couple of torches here so we have a little bit of bright. Okay. Everything seems to be okay. So let's put some food into ourselves for some healing. And let's put some items away. I don't know what we all got. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Probably lots of goodness that I can't even look at right now. There we go. Very nice. Oh, we got a heart. Very good. And let's take the chests. We always need chests. Never can have enough chests. And of course, soul sand. Always take the soul sand. There's no... Okay, there's no spawners here. Interesting. So does that mean this is the ground level? Oh, I think so. Wow, there's grass underground. That is really awesome. So this is the ground level. So the other tower works that you kind of work your way up. And we already took the top chests, but this one here, oh, wow. There's a lot of goodness in here. And there's some ender pearls as well. Okay, a little bit more food. Let's put all that stuff away. Oh, nice diamonds. I love it. I love this backpack. That was the best thing we did. Like, thank you so much for letting me know about that. So that was really good. Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, wow. Okay, let's go. Okay, nice. Ooh, what is that? Amethyst ore? And then what is here? We have this weird crystal, red crystal. Okay. Okay, wow, we got some red crystal shards. I have no idea what that is about. Okay, does that go into a cave here? Whoa! Wow! Look at that! That is a serious cave underneath here. Ooh, octopus! Now this octopus, I don't know if we can actually kill it and putting water on top of him. That would be awesome if we could. Let's try that out, if we could put water on top of him. So we wait for him to shoot. Oh, he's a boss as well. So how about we put some water on top of him? There we go, he's shooting. And now we put some water on top of him. Come on. Will that kill him? Oh. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That didn't kill him. Oh, he moved away. He moved away. Okay, let's take the water. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get hit. So if we kill him now... Okay, let's hide. I just want to make sure that we can kill him and get his drops because I don't know what he drops. And he's no there's no more fire. I don't think there's any fire. Is there any fire left? I don't think so. There we go, we got him. Okay, so let's see what he dropped. Let's pick up the water. Okay, I don't think he dropped anything special unless he went straight into one of our bags, into the mining bag. Yeah, I don't think there was anything special. Okay, this is so weird. I'm just down here exploring a little bit some of the random caves and <laughs> just coming across this really amazing area 
and I'm finding some chests and all that, which is really, really cool. But let's put some blocks here so we can actually go to the chest and see what's in it. A smithing crate. Okay, so we got some coal. But there is a door right here. Oh, wow. We give him an emerald. He give us bones. He's an archaeologist. That is amazing. Gunpowder. Iron shovel. Oh, he gives us an archaeologist's hat. Okay, for emeralds. I don't have any emeralds. I don't think I... Oh. Hang on a second. He gives us emeralds for gunpowder. I don't have much gunpowder, dude. I don't think I can help you with that. I don't think I found any emeralds either. No, I found loads of things, but no emeralds. Okay, so let's see what you have in your chest. Will you get mad if I if I if I open your chest? Okay, no. Can I sleep in your bed? Okay, it's not night. But this is amazing. So we have a archaeologist right here in the mines. This is so cool. So I think we gave our armor a good test run. We actually have some damage. Now, let's see if we can repair it standing in fire. I know it's probably gonna hurt us. Now, our helmet, I don't know if our helmet gets fixed if we're standing in fire, but the helmet is 2824. And our pants are 3862. Okay. It goes up. You can see it here, per tick. It goes up by one. So it slowly kills us, but it fixes our armor. <laughs> so I don't think it's a good trade-off, to be honest, unless we can be completely um, immune to fire damage. But I think it's a very nice touch that um, when we fight dragons that spit fire at us, that we can heal ourselves or whatever and keep eating. And at the same time, our armor doesn't get completely destroyed, which I think is really, really cool. So, and then all we have to do is if we really need to in a pinch, we can then repair our armor here with these um, dark polishing kits, but we're not going to do this right now, obviously, because that would be a bit of a waste. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I know this was a bit of arsing around and it took a while for me to get the armor pieces together as well. But I think I'm going to leave this episode here and I'm going to have to prepare some stuff for the... Uh, mob farm. So for the mob farm, first of all, we're going to craft a couple of things for the mob farm that we're probably not going to end up using. Um, oh, we found a brewing stand. Great. Let's actually stay straight away. Oh, pestilence. I have no idea what that is for. We're going to have to check that out. Is there any other quests done? Pestilence. Right click to summon a loyal little sludge. Okay, we're going to do that before we finish. Ah, oh, look at you. You're so cute. <laughs> Oh, you are so funny looking. I love it. Can we can we do another one? Oh no, that's it. So basically we can have one at a time. This is funny, little sludge. I love it. Maybe he will help us fight the bad guys. Maybe he's like tremendously strong. Okay, anyway, I didn't notice we have footprints. Oh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, okay, so the plan is in the next episode to do the mob farm. Now we're gonna do the mob farm. Um, We're probably not gonna use a mob farm, yeah? But we'll see. We're going to craft the mob fun anyway. We're going to craft the XP drain. We're going to craft the mob masher. And it says here, right click an enclosed dirt area with the drop of evil. Now, I know we can buy a drop of evil in the shop. Okay. So we can buy a drop of evil here for 500. So that's brilliant. Yeah. But what I would really like to do is, we'll see. We either adventure, uh, if, if, oh, he starved to death. Oh, I'm not looking after my guys. That is terrible. Anyway, so <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to do a mob farm. We maybe buy a drop of evil, but I would like, if I get time between episodes to search through the nether to find a couple of fortresses and mark them on the map, then we're going to do that. And we're going to see if we can find some wither skeletons there or whatnot. But I think either way, it would be good to get a mob farm going buy a drop of evil if we need to, or we're going to do a mob farm the good old fashioned way without the cursed earth and then see if we get any with the skeleton spawn in it to get the drop of evil. And then we do it this way around. I don't think there's any harm in doing that. So I'm going to have to prepare a couple of things for it. So it will be next episode. Um, otherwise, this is going to take too long. But I hope you guys had a good time with the episode. Leave any comments and any ideas, any tips. 
anything in the comments below and i'm gonna go through it and if you did have a good time remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time until then as always viel spaß and happy gaming